wax lady and today I'm going to be talking to you about what to expect when you're expecting a Brazilian wax so a lot of people will watch YouTube and see these horrific videos of people getting waxed and they're screaming and it's a horrible experience and what I've learned firsthand is that a lot of my clients tell me that oh my gosh I've been dreading this I'm so nervous about this and I think that's almost the worst part of getting a Brazilian wax because people are having to think about this for days maybe or just even that morning they wake up and they go today's the day and this lady's gonna see my vagina and she's gonna rip the hair out and it's gonna be horrible and I just want to set some expectations for you so that you don't have to go through that I mean you probably will go through that to some kind of extent but hopefully this will kind of help out okay so you're gonna come in and I'm gonna ask you to remove everything below you're gonna lay down, you'll put a little sheet over the top of you, and I'm gonna tell you, all right, we're gonna take one strip off just to see what it's, what's gonna happen and how it feels. And so you have an opportunity after that first strip is pulled to go, you know what, I'm out of here, like this is horrible. I've never had that happen before. And I would say a good 95% of my clients that come in and get a Brazilian wax walk out going like, okay, you know what, that was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So after that first pull, that's gonna tell me everything that I need to know, okay? So after that, you're good. Um, if you're a little nervous, what I'll say to you is we're gonna do a, a bikini wax or maybe even an extended bikini wax. So we're just gonna start slow, work our way from the outside in. And at any point, if you're uncomfortable, we can stop, okay? So I don't want you to feel like you have to go through this horrible experience. You don't, you are the one that's in control. I'm just here to make you comfortable as one can be having their hair ripped out of their vagina, but I am here to just kind of help you get through this whole situation, okay? So once we've determined how far you're gonna go, let's say you get through the whole thing while you're laying down on your back, we still have the butt to do and everybody always thinks oh my gosh like you're gonna one you're gonna see my butthole and two that sounds like it's gonna hurt really really bad and anyone who's had a brazilian wax can tell you like oh my gosh no that's the easiest part and it's the best part so don't freak out about having the behind done i don't want you to freak out about that it's the easiest part and it's the least painful part and it's kind of the best part if you want to know the truth so once we get that done, which takes maybe 30 seconds, if that, you're in the clear. And from start to finish, I will have you out of here in 15, 20 minutes at the most, okay? And that's when we're gonna pre-book your next one, which will be in about four to five weeks. So after we wax the crack, you're done. You've basically survived your Brazilian wax. And it's funny because some people will be like, oh, that one's a little intense or, you know, from the in the beginning. The worst part is kind of the top. That's going to be the most sensitive area. And as you work your way down, it's going to get easier and easier, I promise. So once you survive that, just know you're in the clear. And I'm going to walk you through it the entire process, okay? So when we're finished, you're going to have a little bit of cream. And, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about aftercare. And then you are free to go and you just survived your first Brazilian wax. Thanks for watching, guys.